Hello again, YouTube. It's Kachi J6 back once again, and we are heading straight back into Brim City, exactly where we left off in the last episode. Now, we've gotten through exactly two of these buildings. I've decided I'm going to mark that now just by taking off the doors. Also, I'd like to expose the entrance to this one, even if I'm not collecting the sand. Now, yes, there are two buildings explored, but there are many still left to be. So, let's immediately head into the third, this parking garage here. At least if we can find a door into it. Yes, we can. Look at them. Look at them just sitting there peacefully. Alright, we're standing outside of the state. We've explored every other building in Grim City. And it looks like there was a very powerful trap waiting on the inside of this one. But, as memory serves, a zombie or something set it off for us already. Very convenient, of course. Still, this is our objective. This is why we're in this city. So let's find out what this is. Framed against the dawn. Pretty convenient. Well, that was the fourth floor.
Main quest, flashback one, order two. Something, something. You must... War breaks through America, annexes Canada into nuclear war, starts devastation, get in a vault. Emil, Daddy, I don't want to go. I want to go with Mom to the airport. Stop. You've been good all day. Just listen to me. We need to get going. But, Dad, it's not like you were never going to see her again, Emil. Now, let's go. I'm going to be late to work. No ifs, ands, or buts. Besides, Mom already left. I couldn't let you go if I wanted to. As you walk into your room, you hear cracks from a distant place. They sounded like explosions, but you're not sure. But then, all of a sudden, the booms are incredibly close. You can hear the whistle. Then a boom. Almost as if... It was as if it were right in the city. All of a sudden, the wall in front of my bed blew up in, part of, in front of me. I grabbed a meal and went down the stairs as fast as I could. I thought, right away, that I need to go to the airports. Next hint, go to the right of the starting vaults, north of Jacinto. All right, we have our next quest. So supposedly this city is Jacinto, and this path here supposedly takes us right back through the starting area. So I do want to verify that, make sure I'm not crazy. And if it does, then I know what we need to do in order to keep going. We need to head to the airport, which is the opposite direction. And these huts look very familiar. I believe we hid from zombies here in a previous episode, so... So indeed, this should be the right place. This is coming from the starting house. So we'll take a look at the billboard. Nothing much to see there. Ooh, all that gravel. I'm not particularly interested in it right now, though. Although, I do want to see if there's like a chest or anything back there. Is this suicidal? No, that's a mob trap. Shit. Just, I don't want the creeper to blow up on me. Actually, let's do the old... Creeper safeguarding. And I don't think we need to explore this city of Jacinto. In fact, I'm not even sure I really want to with all these more big buildings. I mean, we had a whole episode of exploring big buildings. Oh, another building set to blow up there, but I did manage to get away from this one, thankfully. All these huge caches of TNT definitely always have to be on my guard. So, to be honest, I got bored very quickly with exploring that city, and furthermore, I could see that there were different signs telling me that probably it's somewhere we're going to come back to later. So we're going to leave Jekinto for now. and keep heading towards that airport, which should be up this road. So, we've got enough arrows now to be safely dispatching creepers. And zombies. So do a bit of sniping work. La die. Oh! Hi, look at that. Can't really think of any reason I need them, though.
Are we there? That looks like a helicopter or something in the background. Generally, you're not supposed to just barge into these kinds of places. Just ran out of recording there. Actually, just in time to probably save myself from being blown up by that creeper. Always use your surroundings, kids. Ooh, here's a way in. Just like getting pebbles in media crafts. Oh, shit. No, wait a second. Now, if we're clever, we can use this well. Okay. So now what we want to do... ...is find out if there are crossbeams. No, there aren't. However, only the skeletons can get me up here. So... I stand corrected. All right, well, now we're armed. Makes all the difference. Okay. We are holed up in a little place. There's nothing to our name. This music just seemed to have come from the last run, but basically everything else is gone. Everything that I have right now just came from these chests. So the best course of action, I think, is to kind of slowly fight my way back. I also kind of feel pretty strongly that we want to get up to that airplane for some reason. And I figure this is actually a pretty good position to be in. Just as soon as I swap that for that. I can get food, kind of. If I'm really lucky, I'll get a rare bow drop from skeletons, but... I haven't gotten really lucky yet. Oh, wait a second, I don't need to. Because... I can create another crafting table. Place that. Oh, my stats reset again. I'll have to go fix that. Why do I always get this recipe wrong? I don't understand. Okay, here's a bow. Open that back up again. Who's next? Oh, for half a second there, I thought we were alone for a short while. Oh, we also have all this dirt. That's actually pretty good. 
pretty useful. You can establish like a defensive type perimeter around here. Do a little bit of drop in work here. So that's the wing of the plane. Let's get up there. Do I have a pick? Yes, I do. Oh, look, that's that's open air. Get some moonlight shining on these creeps. Okay, so I think I got the stats fixed there. Which just leaves heading into the airplane. Almost like this is a rescue mission or something. Spooky rescue mission. Those the engines probably shouldn't take those. So let's see what the pilot was hearing. Recall. Flight 12 log. Flight 12 pilot. Air control, please come in. We need to make an emergency landing. Please come in. Yes, please make your landing immediately. What's that? I see these huge clouds soaring in the sky. Look like it's smoke coming from Brim City. All right, make sure you land immediately. We need to clear all airways for the Air Force to come in. So, shockwaves from the blast throw the plane around. They're gonna land in a lake. Hint, it looks as if there should be some sort of lake near the hangar. Searching around it would be wise. And then we'll head back to the map. Hmm. This channel. I see wool. Oh, alright. Here it is. Main quest. Terminal 3. Order 4. Flight recipients. Class A, John Dean, attending. Kennedy Johnson, attending. Laura Walter, attending. Jennifer Gabe, missing, flight was rescheduled. Emiliana, missing, and we remember this name from somewhere. Rescheduled flight for Monday, stated that she left to Robkin's Bottle Cap Factory. Maybe this is my wife? I should go to this place. Robinson's factory can be found on a pathway leading over a bridge in Jacinto. I see. So we were, I was right, we just weren't ready to explore Jacinto yet. Which means, well, we've rescued a downed, well not rescued, we've located a drowned flight. And we know what our next objective is. Plus we have food, which, just as soon as I have some more coal, we can cook. Oh, sweet. Luggage. Let's search the luggage. Actually, I would like to block that path so we can explore better. Where is it coming from? Back there. 